Hello friends and not yet friends, welcome back to What I Ate Wednesday. How's 2018 going for you? Any New Year's resolutions? Let me know in the comments below. As for me, I'm just trying to keep building healthy habits, slowly. Like the daily morning walks I started last year, which has been amazing. I've added yoga, I'm on like day five or six. And after that, tea time. Except that lately it's become coffee time. I'm enjoying it more now that I've decided to make it distraction free. No writing to do lists, no checking email or social media, just a little me time to start off the day feeling fresh. My breakfasts have been pretty boring. Frozen fruit, soy milk and water, Vega One powder and chocolate protein powder. Filling, nutritious, and gets the job done. Honestly, I don't know how many What I Ate Wednesdays I'm gonna do because lately I'm just so boring. For lunch, it'll be a sandwich made out of leftovers. I made panko crusted tempeh strips last night. They were marinated in soy sauce, Chinese black vinegar, maple syrup, ginger, garlic for two days. Then coated in a batter of flour, ground flaxseed, and water so it made the consistency of eggs. Then I rolled it in Japanese style breadcrumbs, aka panko. Then baked that for 25 minutes at 420 degrees Fahrenheit, flipping once. They got a nice crunchy crust, which would have been really good, but the tempeh was a bit bitter. Maybe I should have steamed the tempeh first before marinating it to get rid of any bitterness. But the last time I bought this tempeh, it wasn't bitter at all, so I don't know what to do about it. Are there any tempeh pros out there? Give me your tips in the comments below. I'm trying not to multitask while eating. I'm trying to practice mindfulness. It's hard some days, okay, most days, but I think it'll be helpful for reducing stress, for slowing down time. I'm working on it anyways, wish me luck. For dinner, I'm still being really boring, but maybe this idea will be new to some of you. At the end of the day, I don't wanna make anything too involved. So lately I've been doing sheet pan dinners. So I've got about three cups of cooked chickpeas and about the same amount of frozen veggies, give or take, I don't know, I don't measure. Today it's broccoli, cauliflower, and carrots. Give them some olive oil, and then seasoning, lots of it. Today I'm using a seasoning mixture sample from the Spice Merchant here in Calgary that came free with a growler of chai porter from Village Brewery, another local outfit, and then kind of massage them. I try to do it quick though, otherwise my hands get too cold. I baked it at 450 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 minutes until it was all good and roasty. The seasoning mix made the condo smell so amazing. And the veggies were so flavorful with little roasty bits. Thumbs up if you love roasty bits too. Using fresh veggies is always better texture wise, but I don't mind these. Even though I hate cooked carrots normally, I don't hate these. Some of the chickpeas are a little crispy, some are dense and chewy, and some are very soft. I like the variety, and I really like this seasoning. I think I'll look for the full size. Simple, nutritious, and I ate half the pan for dinner. Last thing, these little jellies. They're made with seaweed extract rather than gelatin and have little chewy bits in the middle. I think they're coconut bits, but I'm not sure. Anyways, I love these, they're so fun. And that was my food day. Pretty boring, but actually I really like this boring style for the weekdays. So I'm not spending too much time chopping things or marinating things or getting involved. Let me know if it was too boring for you though. 
And maybe I'll only shoot these on the weekends, I don't know, because weekends are for fun food. Let me know how your food day was in the comments below. Speaking of weekend food though, you should check out my book review for the Edgy Veg Cookbook. It's pretty fun. <laughs> also pretty fun, the new caramel donut recipe on the blog, marystestkitchen.com. So check it out if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching my friends. I really appreciate you coming back and watching and giving these videos a like and sharing them. It really helps me out and um, your support really means the world to me. Alright, until next time, bye for now.